praise the Lord. Indra kora nama. Yadai vidai ke vendum. So sorry. Today we are going to see what must be reap today. So uh, Bible says that uh, that we must reap um, six things in our life. Um, so according to that, God will give us blessing. Today let us see. Like a farmer, we are going to reap something. What is that we are going to reap? Um, for that we'll take Galatians, um, Galatians chapter six, um, uh, verse seven. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man. reaps what he sows um, so whatever we uh, what whatever, whatever we sow we are going to reap um, so according to the bible we must reap souls um, trust in god we must reap gospel we must reap payment for our service um, we must reap blessings um, and we'll at last rewards of righteousness um, that's why jesus christ told his disciples um, to reap the souls um, he told don't you say that um, if still four months is there for harvest um, if you see the crop you can say that certain months are that the harvest because you know it is completely ripe um, so open your eyes and look at the field they are ripe for harvest which is a field the world is a field and the people in the world a uh, heart is as uh, is ready to be harvested for god otherwise it will be harvested for judgment i sent you to reap what you have not worked for others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their labor so you and me are called to um, uh, to to harvest the souls um, so that is what is first of all is important in our christian life um, second thing we have to reap um, trust in god we should not worry about what happened and tomorrow what i eat instead of that look at the bird of the air they do not sow or reap or store away the band um, in in barns um, and yet uh, the ha- heavenly father seeds them um, are you not much more valuable than them can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life okay? nobody can add a single hour by worrying instead of that um, you have to reap the trust um, then god will certainly take care of you the next is um, we have to reap um, now nothing other than the gospel age um, the gospel we have to reap um, almost clearly say how will reap the gospel example ramos is taking example the harvest of a wine wine plant um, here uh, first the farmers will sow the uh, wine seed um, then it will grow and after that there is a harvest um, and it uh, collect the uh, the um, the grapes um, and make it into a juice um, so when people are uh, uh, reaping the farmer is coming tell please reap it fast um, uh, uh, right, uh, harvest is fast um, because i want to sow again the when the man who was cutting the grass the another farmer is coming and please cut the grass um, cut the crop very easily i have to uh, plant the grass um, so this will happen certainly if you, if you sow the seed correctly in the correct time you will certainly reap the gospel then you have to reap the payment for the service um, so well, whatever you do the work in the in this, in this world you will be given payment um, in the case of uh, uh, sowing the seed um, uh, and doing the doing the god's work uh, you will get the payment only from god don't expect from the people that's what paul is telling in first corinthians chapter 9 certainly you receive the payment for your service um, so we will re- we will reap the payment of service from god fifth one is so we have to reap the blessing second corinthians chapter 9 clearly says um, the farmer who plants a few seed will have a very few of small harvest um, a far- farmer who plants um, um, because he have received god's blessing will receive a harvest of god's blessing in return so if it is a few small harvest or big harvest it depends upon how much you are sowing if you sow So with the great happiness um, your time your money and your uh, talent you will certainly harvest in a plenty so that's a god's blessing and so each of you should give whatever you have decided that you should not be sorry that you have gave or feel forced to give since god loves a cheerful giver and then he will give us more so sixth thing what we have to sow is a reward of righteousness um, whoever sow to be uh, please their flesh um, from the flesh they will reap destruction there are two types of um, uh, harvest is there one is harvest for a soul harvest for the righteousness next is harvest for the flesh um, so whoever sow uh, to please their flesh uh, they will reap their flesh for destruction um, and whoever sow to please the spirit uh, from the spirit they will reap the eternal life um, let us not become weary in doing good work for other uh, proper time they will reap a harvest if you do give, if you do not give up um, so don't give up so for uh, um, spirit then we'll uh, get the reward of righteousness um, so if you do all these things certainly you are you are uh, harvest will be with the joy of harvest um, so that we you reap with the joy of harvest because psalms 126 um, clearly says those who sow with the tears will reap with the song of joy those who go out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with the song of joy carrying shells with them so what does it mean it means we cannot um, uh, reap um, if you do not first sow so first of all we have sow the word of god which is a seed and the seed must be watered with our uh, tears and our prayer so when you do this when you seed them the seed seed them when you when you um, 
sow the seed of word of God. You have to water it with your tears and prayer. You will certainly, the, then your harvest will be joyful. So I will pray for you because um, so 16, we are going to reap in this world. Uh, soul, trust in God, gospel, payment for service, blessing and the rewards of righteousness. I'll pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing that um, we have to sow with you prayers uh, and tears and then our harvest is going to be uh, joyful. Holy Spirit, help us to do that. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.